Hi, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Stephanie, and I'm Mike. We're going to be talking about something that you can find in psychology、mm. or the study of people's minds. Something I'd never heard of before, to be honest. It's actually called. The Goldilocks principle. That's right. It's in psychology, but、yeah. yes, it it comes from fairy tale books, <laughs> from nursery rhyme、yeah. books, from classic children's stories. Everyone knows the story of Goldilocks, or to give the story its usual full name, Goldilocks and the Three Bears.、Yeah. The girl finds the house. No one's there. She goes in. There's three of everything. She、mm -hmm. tries all three,、mm -hmm. and it's always the one in the middle that she kind of likes. Isn't that kind of how it goes? Right.、Uh, the, well, one is one is too hard. Yeah, one is too soft, the, and one's just right. Or too hot, hot too, too cold, cold, and then one is just、yeah. right. So that's what Goldilocks、uh -huh. always chooses. I think at the end of the story, the bears come home, and she runs away, or gets eaten. Hopefully, they on don't catch her and eat what her. What story you're reading? So、yeah. we're not. Really talking about the story, we're talking about the idea of trying one thing on、right. one end, you know, too hard, too soft, too cold, too hot. Trying the other opposite thing, and then settling on the one in the middle. We often do this when we go shopping.、Mm -hmm. You might be looking for a pair of shoes, and there's those really cheap shoes, and you think, oh, those won't last very long. And then there's the really expensive shoes that Kanye West made,、Ooh. and you're like, I can't spend thirty thousand NT dollars on some shoes.、That's That's crazy. So you always buy the ones that are kind of in the middle,、mm. a little expensive, but you think that's good quality. That would be the Goldilocks choice. It is. Yeah. So we're going to read through today's unit, and then we'll be back to talk about what this means, how they use it in psychology,、mm. and、uh, how it might work in your own life. Yeah. The children's classic Goldilocks and the Three Bears goes something like this: Goldilocks lets herself into an empty house belonging to three bears and makes herself right at home. Forgetting her manners, she samples bowls of porridge until she finds one that's not too hot and not too cold. She tests out the beds, looking for one that's neither too hard nor too soft. Though Goldilocks was inconsiderate in her quest for everything to be just right, her behavior also showed us an aspect of human nature. The concept of something being just right is known as the Goldilocks principle. It has been used across disciplines to describe the perfect balance between two extremes. For example, what scientists refer to as the Goldilocks zone. Is the area in a solar system where the temperature is just right, not too hot or cold, to support complex life. In economics, a Goldilocks economy is one with growth that is just right, fast enough to prevent a recession, but not so fast that it drives inflation. This sweet spot in the middle is also at play in our everyday lives. The most flattering clothes aren't too tight or too loose. But just right, a moderate amount of stress, not too much and not too little, can be good for us. When shopping, most of us purchase the mid-ranged option to avoid spending too much on a given product while not getting cheap, low-quality items. This just-right approach can even help us achieve our goals by setting targets that aren't too easy or too hard to accomplish. As it turns out. The key to life is having things just right. Okay, guys, we're going to be talking about this Goldilocks principle, which is part of psychology. For those of you out there, if you're studying psychology, one day you might end up as a, a therapist or a psychologist. If you tend to go to medical school, you might be a psychiatrist, someone who works with people. With problems with their minds, here we're talking about a principle that is very popular now in psychology. I think it's kind of funny because most of us out there, or out here, wherever you are, have heard of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. 
I know in Taiwan sometimes I only hear Goldilocks,、hmm. but typically foreigners like Mike and I will use the complete name Goldilocks、mm-hmm. and the Three Bears. A principle is some sort of truth or some sort of belief that's a foundation for a system of beliefs or a way to reason, and that's what the Goldilocks principle is. Ah. Just right. You probably recognize that phrase from the fairy tale Mike talked about before we started. Ah,、oh, that's just right.、Mm-hmm. Not too hard, not too soft. It's just right. And you might say the same thing if you get into a shower, a、yeah. bath that's the perfect temperature.、Mm. Maybe you touched it with your hand and controlled the water. Maybe you're at a a hot spring or something like that, and you get in and ah,、oh, it's perfect. It's right. just right. Well, it comes from the children's classic, Goldilocks and the Three Bears, and it goes something like this. So our author is first kind of relating or retelling this fairy tale. Goldilocks lets herself into an empty house, belonging to three bears, and makes herself right at home. She just kind of walks in and does what she wants to, even though she hasn't been invited. We hope you guys aren't doing that yourselves out there. No, that would be very, very <laughs> rude. Very. If you make yourself right at home, you treat that place as if it is your own home. If it's a hotel room you're paying for, well, I guess that's okay. But if it's your friend's house and you're just being invited over, and then you start eating food and <laughs> dirtying up things and putting your feet up on the sofa or on、Terrible. the furniture, don't do that. It's、no. not your home. So obviously, Goldilocks was forgetting her manners, and it says in the next sentence, forgetting her. Manners, she samples bowls of porridge until she finds one that's not too hot and not too cold. Yes, if you're treating someone else's home as if it's your own home, you're forgetting your manners. You're behaving in a sort of rude, an unpolite way. So you always should remember your manners. Remember to be on your good behavior when you're visiting another person's home when you're a guest. Well, Goldilocks was not. She was being very rude. So as she continued to be rude. She tried their food. She sampled bowls of porridge. To sample is just to try something. If you、uh, go to a supermarket, they、yeah. might give you a sample of a new food. You give、mm-hmm. gives you a small taste. One bite is about the size of a sample. So we can call that small amount a sample. Here, try this. Tell me what you think.、Mm-hmm. And if you do try it, if you do taste that to see what it's like, you're sampling it. As a cook, you would also dip your finger in the soup before you serve it. Is there enough salt? Is there enough pepper? Does it taste good? You should sample it before you give it to people. In this case, she was sampling porridge. This is basically sort of a, a warm cereal that you cook a little bit. Think of kanji, like shifan. That's kind of a porridge. Yeah, it it's a rice porridge.、Oatmeal. We can make it with oatmeal, barley,、yeah. wheat, all sorts of things like that. So it's kind of like breakfast cereal, but it's usually hot, and you you warm it up. Anyway, so she sees these three bowls of food, porridge. She finds one that's not too hot and not too cold. So basically, yes, she tries three bowls. She's eating their food, and she's not done. <laughs> no, no, she's just starting. No, she is. I think she tries the chairs next. They、uh, don't mention that in the story here, but I think in the original story, right? She sits a little on longer. Three chairs,、yeah. and then she picks the one in the middle, and then she goes upstairs because she's tired now, because <laughs> she's being rude and breaking into a,、yeah. a stranger's house. What does she do when she gets the, to the next thing? You'd actually be arrested in、oh, real yeah. life yeah. by police, so、yeah. don't try this. No, don't do this. And if someone says, "Hey, make yourself at home," they don't mean to go into their kitchen and start、mm. looking for food or putting. Your feet up. They're just being polite. Don't act like Goldilocks. No. So after she tries out the porridge, she then tests out their beds upstairs,、mm-hmm. looking for one that's neither too hard nor too soft. If you use neither, guys, you're also going to use nor, neither, nor, or. Either or, don't use either and nor together. That's for sure. So, though Goldilocks was inconsiderate, meaning rude. If you're inconsiderate, you don't think of other people. You're being very selfish. You're not considering or thinking about how other people feel. She was inconsiderate in her quest. If you have a quest for something, we use this word. 
when we're searching for something pretty seriously, usually a quest is is a longer sort of journey as you search for something. We'll often use it in books, novels, where someone's on a quest. To discover or find something that they need, well, she's on this quest for everything to be just right because that's what she wants. Her behavior, the way she acts, her actions also showed us an aspect or a part. Remember, aspect is just one part of something, an aspect or part of human nature. Most of us would love to find things or have things in our lives that are just right. That make us perfectly happy, but I'm going to be honest. It's not often we get things that are just right. We have to settle or accept things that aren't just perfect because that's real life. But Goldilocks, she's probably a spoiled little girl.、I'm... Her parents probably give her everything she wants. Yes. So she's looking for something that's just perfect for Goldilocks. That's right. And if it's not hers, well, that doesn't bother her at <laughs> all. No. Okay, guys, we're going to stop here. This is just after the first paragraph. Probably a good place to stop. We're going to talk more about this concept, this idea behind the Goldilocks principle when we come back. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone. My name is Tina. 今天要介绍的是一个叫做 Just Right， 也就是恰到好处的概念。不过一刚开始，我们要先来看看这个儿童的经典著作，叫做 Goldilocks and the Three Bears。金发女孩与三只小熊。第二段大概叙述了这个童话故事的内容。我们来看一下第二段的第二个句子 ：Forgetting her manners, she samples bowls of porridge until she finds one that's not too hot and not too cold. 那么其实他进到别人家，忽略了一些规矩，他却品尝了几碗粥，直到他发现一碗。不太热，也不太冷的粥。这里的 sample 用来当做动词，是有品尝的意思。像现在的人很喜欢上美容院或者是按摩，就是为了要体验被人服侍的这种快乐。我们就可以说 to sample the pleasure of being waited on。而同样一段最后一句提到 ，though Goldilocks was inconsiderate in her quest for everything to be just right。Her behavior also showed us an aspect of human nature. 虽然金发女孩呢，她在追求所谓的恰到好处 （just right） 的过程当中呢，不是很体贴的 （inconsiderate）， 毫无顾忌，不体贴他人的想法。但是他的行为却向我们展示出人性的一面。我们来看看这个名词 “quest”， 解释成为寻找跟追求的意思。你寻找什么或追求什么，可以搭配介系词 “of” 或者是 “for”。举例来说，他们到山洞里去寻找宝藏。They went to the cave in quest of hidden treasure. We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back, guys. We're talking about the Goldilocks principle. The Goldilocks principle is just. Finding something that's just right, just perfect for you. You know, it's not too expensive, not too cheap, not too hot, not too cold. Something that's just right there, perfect. Usually in the middle, but not necessarily. But something that pleases you. That's right. So yeah, the concept of being just right is known as the Goldilocks principle, and it says、uh, it has been used across disciplines to describe the perfect balance between two extremes: hot on one end. 
cold on one end, warm in the middle. That would be the perfect balance between two extremes. Too big, too small. How about medium sized, right in the middle? Again, a balance between the extremes. A balance is something that is equal on both sides. We can think of if you're trying to weigh something, you put it on one end of the scale, and then you put some weights on the other one. And how many weights that you put on the other end? That shows you when they become in balance. That that is the weight of the thing you're trying to measure, the thing you're trying to learn about. Balance is also something we look for in our lives. A doctor might say, "Hey, yeah, you can be lazy. You can eat some junk food, but you should also work out, go to the gym, eat some salad. Eating salad and exercising all the time might not be good for you. And watching TV or video games while eating fast food and junk food all the time is not good for you.、Mm -hmm. But a little bit of this, a little bit of that, keep it all in balance, not too." Much of anything. Here we're finding a balance between two extremes. An extreme is basically sort of the far end on the scale. If we're talking about temperature extremes in Taiwan, well, in the coldest days in the winter, it might get down to close to zero degrees in some parts of the island, maybe even a little lower. But zero would be pretty low. That's cold. And in the hottest day of the summer, in the middle of July or August, it might get up to forty degrees.、Mm -hmm. So those are the Extremes, but it's not like that all the time. In fact, it might only be like that for a few days of the year. Usually, it's somewhere in the middle, in the tens, twenties, thirties, something like that. But those extremes—that's the far end on the scale, the absolute lowest, the absolute highest, the absolute biggest, the absolute smallest. That's what we mean with extremes. So the Goldilocks zone is right in the middle of those two extremes. This perfect balance.、Mm -hmm. For example. What scientists refer to or call the Goldilocks zone is the area in a solar system where the temperature is just right, where things can grow and live and survive. If you talk about a zone, it's another word for range. So you want that perfect zone or range where things can actually survive. If it's too hot, no way. If it's too cold. No way.、Mm. My perfect, just right temperature in Taiwan is probably twenty to twenty degrees Celsius. But、oh, okay. yeah, everybody's different. So your just right is something that is a balance between those two extremes.、Hmm. You definitely don't want something that's too hot or too cold.、Mm. And in the solar system, this Goldilocks zone is actually a zone or a range. Where it can support complex life, so it can actually have things growing and developing. In economics, if you're talking about how a country makes their money, you're talking about an economy that's growing but not too fast and not too slow. If it's too fast, the prices are going to go up, and we call that inflation. Where the price of bread suddenly increases so fast that people who are making pretty much the same amount at their jobs can't afford to buy those things, and if you're in a recession, it means a lot of people are getting laid off, or there's just not work they can find, and that's hard too. So you want one that's just right, not growing too fast and not growing too slowly. That would be. The Goldilocks economy, right there. So remember, inflation is when the price of things increases quite quickly because the economy is on fire. Everyone's making more money,、yeah. so let's charge them more money、right. for things. And of course, a little bit is okay, but a lot can really make things difficult for people, especially、mm -hmm. people who aren't rich.、True. All right, so we can see that the Goldilocks zone is used in you know some pretty serious areas like、mm -hmm. space science, like economy, economic. Economics and stuff like that. But what about for us, just normal folks in our daily lives? Is the Goldilocks <laughs> zone just about finding the perfect temperature for your porridge? No, there's more to it than that. It says this sweet spot in the middle. The Goldilocks zone. This sweet spot in the middle is also at play in our everyday lives. If something is at play, that means it has an effect. It's something you need to consider. It's something that's active and actually, you know, changes things for us. So yeah, it does affect our everyday lives. For example, the most flattering clothes aren't too tight or too loose, but just right. 
actually, that's a really good point. If you're wearing <laughs> clothes, you don't want clothes. You know, if you normally take a medium, you're not going to get clothes that are extra large because they're too loose. I should say it looks like there's another person hiding in your shirt、yeah. because that shirt is way too big for you. But if you wear medium normally and you get extra small, well, it looks like you washed your clothes for too long, or your clothes are going to burst and you're going to fall out of them. Sort、or、of thing. Or you gained weight. Or you gained weight. You put on weight and you're wearing your old clothes, <laughs> but you're too fat for them now.、Yeah. It just won't look very good. So you want clothes that are just right, that fit you nicely. Comfortably, but not too tight or too loose. That would be the Goldilocks zone. I wanted to mention this、uh, phrase. Sweet spot comes from sports. If you've ever played tennis, you know that you want to hit the ball kind of in the center of the racket.、Mm. That's the sweet spot. That's the best place. So, yeah, the sweet spot in the middle is also our ah, just right place、uh, when we talk about extremes. So you want. A moderate amount of stress,、yeah. not too much, not too little. I need a little stress to、mm -hmm. get me to work、okay. harder.、Uh, some people do better under pressure. That's me.、Uh, moderate here just means average in amount. Could be intensity, how strong something is. It could be in、uh, the degree of something.、Mm -hmm. Moderate temperature would be, you know, twenty-five degrees instead of forty. Or maybe a ten degrees, which is kind of cold for people here. Moderate is just average, so you kind of want an average amount of stress, not too much, not too little, and that can be good for people. Now, in shopping, most of us buy or purchase the mid-ranged option to avoid spending too much on a given product, but you don't want to go too cheap because that stuff usually breaks. Or falls apart very quickly. I've noticed that sometimes if you buy something that's really cheap, the first time you wash it, kind of falls apart.、Mm. That's a waste of money. So be careful not to buy too cheap. And if you buy things that are too expensive. You've just ruined your budget, I would say. <laughs> True. So the Goldilocks zone is again where people might be aiming for.、Mm -hmm. It says this just right approach can even help us achieve our goals by setting targets that aren't too easy、right. or too hard to accomplish. Having something that's kind of moderate often works best for people. Or following the just right approach. It's just right. It's not absolutely perfect.、Mm -hmm. It's not a terrible failure. It's Just okay enough, basically. An approach here, yeah, we can use approach like a verb to get near, right? At the end of your trip, you will be approaching your destination or getting closer to your destination. But here, approach is used as a noun. An approach here is kind of an, a method, a way of doing something. Different students might have different approaches to studying. Some like to study a little bit for weeks before the exam. Some study a lot days before the exam. Right? These are different methods or different ways of doing something. So having the just right approach about life means you're not going to the top end or the bottom end, but trying to find something in the middle. And it says there that when you set yourself goals, when you set yourself challenges or、mm -hmm. difficult tasks to do to try to learn things or improve or something, not too easy, not too hard. Just in the middle would be the best approach. If it's too easy, you're not testing yourself. You're not challenging yourself. You're not learning anything. If it's too hard, you're probably going to fail, and that might make you feel sad or make you feel you're not good enough or、yeah. something like that. So, you know, finding a test or a challenge that's a little bit hard, but you can still do it if you work at it, that would be the best because you want to be able to accomplish your goals or accomplish your targets. To accomplish something is basically to Reach the end, the successful end. You're setting out to do something. This is what I'm going to try to do. This is my goal.、Um, and when you reach that goal, when you are successful, you have accomplished the task or the challenge that you set for yourself. You did it. Yay! And as it turns out, that's actually the key to life: is、mm -hmm. having things just right. Just like Goldilocks. If you can get them, that's true. But don't be rude. Right. And never make yourself at home if people don't actually invite you in. Especially if it's a bear's house. <laughs> especially with bears. Don't eat bears' food. No. Bad idea. Right now, we're going to listen to our Chinese teacher. 
。而这种 just right 后来也被称为是 the Goldilocks principle 金发女孩原则。在第三段第二个句子提到 ，it has been used。Across disciplines, to describe the perfect balance between two extremes, 而这样子的原则已被用于跨领域。这里的 discipline 指的是领域，可能是学科的领域，或者是专业的领域。那么用来描述两个极端之间的完美平衡。Extreme 可以解释成为极端。举例来说 ，We should avoid extremes. 我们应该要避免走极端，也可以用来指的是极端的行为。而 The Goldilocks Principle 强调的就是 just right， 恰到好处，避免走极端。同样一段，最后一个句子提到 ，In economics, a Goldilocks economy is one with growth that is just right. Fast enough to prevent a recession, but not so fast that it drives inflation. Economics 在这里指的是经济学，在经济学方面，金发女孩的经济指的就是发展的恰到好处，而它很快的发展却可以避免经济衰退。Recession 在这里指的就是经济上面的萧条或者是衰退。我们讲到 go into recession， 也就是有陷入衰退的意思。但是这样的经济情况又不会快到会驱使通货膨胀的发生。而 inflation 就是大家很害怕的通货膨胀，政府常常要做很多的事情来 curb inflation， 来抑制通货膨胀。最后一段其实有在第一句提到 ，this sweet spot in the middle is also at play in our everyday lives。在这里提到，这刚刚好中间的这个甜蜜点，也在我们的日常生活当中。发挥作用，不会给我们太多的压力。购物的时候也可以选择中价位的选项。我们来看一下文章的最后两句，提到 This just right approach can even help us achieve our goals by setting targets that aren't too easy or too hard to accomplish. 这种恰到好处的方法，可以用来帮助我们设定一个不会太难或太简单而达成的目标。我们来看一下 approach， 在这里当做名词，解释成为方法或者是途径。举例来说 ，I like her approach to the problem。我喜欢他解决这个问题的方法。那么，透过刚刚好就可以设定一个容易达成的目标。Accomplish 则是完成的意思。所以，我们讲到的成就感，也可以说 sense of accomplishment。最后一句 ，As it turns out, the key to life is having things just right. 所以你会发现，事实证明，生活的秘诀就是使事情恰到好处。以上就是今天的课文讲解，谢谢收听。Thanks for joining us, guys, and we hope you learned a little bit today about the Goldilocks principle. If you're going for either end of the spectrum or the range where things are too extreme. Try to get yourself to find kind of a balance between those points. I think you'll find that you're a lot more happy that way. For English Digest, I'm Stephanie, and I'm Mike. See ya. Bye bye.